in this lesson we are going to discuss some basic settings that we uh, will do we are going to discuss some basic settings in terms of uh, dimensioning unit and uh, the working units for project and project location settings so we begin with project location settings so that can be accessed under options options we have uh, project preferences so under project preferences we have project location so click on that and this project location settings pop-up is going to appear so the very first thing is the project name and a project name we are supposed to give this project a name we go here and the edit click on edit and when you click on edit you have project info opening so these are the project details the very first one is the project name so i will click there and type the name of the project so this is proposed proposed uh, residential house for mr x we have a project description we have a project id a project code and a project number so this will depend on uh, your project numbering and and encoding so you can give it a number we can say this is our we can say this is our first project so the project number will be let's say 001 and the status is design development and then from there we have things like site details what is the site name what is the description of the site what is the site's full address the site gross perimeter and gross area we have details such as a building name building description and we have contact details this is contact details is the is is details for the person who is coming up with the the card drawings and the contact details you can edit this so that you have your name appearing there for me i will have uh, the prefix as mr my given name is this my middle name is this then i will have my family name you click ok so they appear as there so that that is the contact full name you can add the id you have a role a role there describe the role you love uh, details such as contact company the email and the likes let's scroll down to client details this is very important because this is where we are going to capture the details of the client for oh, the client's full name click on these three dots so you have the client's full name as this you click ok so the name appears as that we have the client's company click on this to enter the description of the company you have the full address you have the client's email and phone number and client's fax so if you have all these details make sure to add them and after that click on ok and you will see uh, the project name now appears here as proposed residential house for mr x so the next setting is for sites full address so under full address we click on edit we have the address here so let's say it's a it's along Mombasa road in a, in a country called Kenya the zip code is 00100 we have a Nairobi as the city and the state as Nairobi and the postal box is 29822 so that is the site's full address so i will click on ok and we now have the site's full address appearing in this box so below site's full address we have latitudes and longitudes we have a time zone we have altitude above sea level and the project north so these settings for the latitudes and longitudes will depend on 
on the project location so if you choose to have a to have a city a predefined city for your project like for me i am in nairobi so the project will be in nairobi so i will scroll down here and see if i will get an option for nairobi so i have this i'll click on nairobi click ok and if you notice you've noticed we have add the latitude and the longitude changing and the time zone also has changed to uct nairobi so that's it we'll need to look at a more project more information about nairobi so that we can get to understand the height above sea level in meters and then fill this this box then after that we'll save our settings by clicking on okay